too altruistic. Alter, you know, honestly, I don't even know what that word means. I know I write, but that doesn't mean I speak English. Hey y'all, I'm Madeline Monahan, but you can call me Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am responding to the personality tag. I was tagged by my good friend, Autumn Ashley, and I honestly have no idea what any of these letters mean, but I'm going to be talking about them today for some reason. So here we are. So before we get started, I think I have to continue the tag. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how these things always go, so we're just gonna play around with this for a second. I'm going to tag Meredith Phillips and Nicole the Blind Mage for this. So there's a list of questions that I have that I have to go through and answer, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Lord knows I have absolutely no idea because I'm still trying to like figure out how this whole personality thing works. I've taken it before, back in high school when I took psychology, and honestly, I don't even remember what it meant back then, so Lord knows I'm not going to remember what it means now, but here we go. The first question is, what is your Myers-Briggs personality type? And according to the test I took, I am an INFP-T, and I have absolutely no idea what that means. The website told me it's a mediator, so just like someone who kind of likes to stay in the middle of things, which I kind of agree with. <laughs> I like to be middle of the road about a lot of things. The second question is, according to the profile, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And there was no way in heck I was going to remember them, so I wrote them all down. So strengths they have me as idealistic, seek and value harmony, open-minded and flexible, very creative, passionate and energetic, dedicated and hardworking, and for weaknesses, too idealistic, impractical, dislike dealing with data. <laughs> take things personally and difficult to get to know. This is just what the website told me. So the third question is, do you feel like the profile is accurate? And if not, what did they get wrong? For the strengths, <laughs> I would say, and most of the weaknesses too, I would say that um, I agree with a lot of them because I'm definitely idealistic. I would love it if everybody could just get together and sing Kumbaya, that would be great. <laughs> For weaknesses, I, do have to agree with a lot of them. I am too idealistic sometimes, I will admit. I can be impractical. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that, you know? Although I do have to disagree with difficult to get to know. I'm I'm not sure if I'm difficult to get to know. I mean, y'all can let me know. I've got absolutely no idea, so. Mm. <laughs> Question number four is how does your personality affect your writing? I don't really know if it falls under the category of like the strength and weakness list. There's a lot of self-doubt that comes with writing, but I don't think that's necessarily something that fits into any of these weaknesses that this website website told me I apparently have. I think that's just kind of a natural process of things is that at some point during your writing journey, you're going to start doubting yourself a little bit. I think that's just natural. So I can't say that the personality they gave me really affects my writing. I think it's just kind of more like the natural voices in your head. <laughs> if they're natural, that sort of throw you off a bit. So number five is, have you ever written a character with your personality type? And I want to say no, because my characters, I think, are a little bit more headstrong than I am. I think they, they know what they want. They know what they want to do, and they know the path that they have to go to get there. Whereas I'm just like blowing in the breeze wherever it takes me. If I go to the left, that's fine. If I go a few steps back, okay. If I go, you know, a million miles forward, great. I'm much more like, we'll just kind of jump into things and see what happens. Whereas my characters are very like determined and I think it's sort of like this deep subconscious want to be like that where I like have an end goal, like a real end goal and I know how to get there and I just don't. They never have my personality. They're never mediators. Number six is, do you struggle to write characters with different personality types? Again, no, not really, because most of my characters are already different personality-wise than me. Maybe I should write one with my personality, who knows? Hmm, might be interesting. Might be a scary dive into my mind. I don't think I want that. Mm. Number seven is, what are your strategies for Right. What is it? Number seven is what are your strategies for writing characters with different personality types than you? It They just sort of come to me. I don't really have a strategy and that's the other thing is I don't plan before I jump. I just jump and things sort of create themselves as I go and that's kind of just how I've always done things and that's how I've always enjoyed doing things. 
because it adds a sense of adventure to the story you're telling. And so I don't really think much of the characters when I start writing them. They sort of just come to life and tell me what they want and how they want to be and how they want to act and what they want to do. And so that's kind of when their personalities start to develop. I don't really consciously think of what their personalities are really going to be like when I first sit down to start right. They, I just sort of sit back and let them tell me as I go. Probably not the best way to do it, but it's worked for me so far, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Number eight is what kind of characters do you like to write? And I just enjoy writing strong-willed, young women. The number nine is what kind of books do you like to read and write and what do you find appealing about them? So I grew up in a house where action movies were totally fine to watch at any age. It didn't really matter how dark they were. My parents thoughts were just sort of if we show them when they're young they're not going to understand and as they get older we'll just fast forward through things. That didn't really quite work. <laughs> So I really enjoy stories with action, with fighting, with battles and ginormous fight scenes, sometimes explosions, <laughs> but I blame my dad for that one. There's something about putting a character in a complex situation like that that really draws out who they really are and you see who this person is. And that's what I love about stories that kind of hinge a little bit more on the darker side of things or stories that have a little bit more of um, kind of a, I don't want to say violent aspect to it, but things that have those moments of like violence, I guess, is because you see who the character really is and you learn more about them through that. And to me, that was always very interesting to see how the situation changes person. I was never a rom-com person. I was never a chick flick person. I like things that have romance in them, but I do not like romance being the main focus. Same thing with comedy. I like things that have comedy in them, but I don't like comedy when it's the main focus. So there has to be something else to the story. And that's kind of what I found in like action movies and um, adventure movies. And so that's kind of the stories that I write now is because those were the ones I enjoyed the most when I was a kid. Writing things like things that are straight up dramas or romances, I'm like, how in the heck do you do that? I need a gunfight or a car chase or an explosion or a sword fight or an elf climbing up an elephant and taking the whole thing down and then sliding down and the dwarf saying that still only counts as one. I just think that there's more that is revealed about a character in these kinds of situations that makes them more interesting. So there you all go. There is my personality tag. It sort of turned into something that was like 100% opposite what my personality is supposed to be, but I'm all over the place. I'm that one girl who's like going down the road and then all of a sudden she just starts veering into the other lane and then goes back and then veers and then goes back and then veers and then it goes back. So comment down below, let me know what your personality type is and if you've ever taken the Myers-Briggs test before. It was a lot of fun and thank you again Autumn for tagging me in this. I hope I know how to tag other people properly, I apologize if I don't. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that like button if you so choose. Of course, as always, there's never any pressure and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Now I have a bunch of Lord of the Rings quotes in my head and all I can think now is <laughs> he's twitching because he's got my axe embedded in his nervous system. <laughs> These are the things my parents let me watch as a kid.